Okay, so this is the, the Nikon Z30. Okay, uh, content, it's for um, content creators. So if you're a content creator, this is for you. Now, the only problem with this is out of the box experience, it might be if you're coming from your cell phone or you're coming from a camera that everything's automatic and you really don't have to sit there and configure anything, then this is going to be one a heck of a learning curve for you. And you know, despite those online and or people who spent their whole life photographing and everything, hey, there's nothing wrong with doing all that, but um, you know, you gotta think like other people. When I when I say think like other people, I mean thinking, you know, because my background is high tech, okay, and lots, uh, also studio audio, you know, those kind of a gear and when I say high tech computer networking. Everything on that aspect. Uh, cameras. This is actually one of the first ones like this. I use. I have a couple of SLRs and um, point and shoot from Sony. Um, I got um, Olympus. They don't make it anymore, but it was pretty good. That's a single lens. You know, it's all digital, and you really just the same in and shoot. You don't just there and configure this thing here. You got to configure it. You got to configure it. You have to configure it. You got to get. This lens here is manual. This is something you press a button, the lens goes zoom in, zoom out. You have it. So everything has to be programmed into it. So basically, you have to use your IT expertise and program that computer. So you got to program this phone. The firmware has to be installed. You know, out of the box, how should you do all this? Should you do everything manually, or should you down download a smart app to your phone from Nikon and get it? It's Snapbridge, by the way. That's what you get. You download SnapBridge, and you use SnapBridge. It's pretty much self-determined. It does pretty much everything. Once you got the con connection, you have to go in the menu in this. And get right now, this is charging, so I really can't show it too much. And plus, uh, my settings. I want it set up to my Wi-Fi network, my my business network here. It's supposed to do that, right? Yeah, because you don't want to take out the memory card out of this and stick it in a computer. So a lot of computers can't even do the full stick anymore and it's mostly smaller. I have a 128 um, SanDisk Extreme Pro in this, um, I guess it's 200 meg megabit, 200 megabits per second. Well, well, we know in real term, we'll never come as close as that, even on a Windows PC, because the way things are, I do realistic it's not gonna be that that's be careful with, with the buzzword, but if the card can go fast, hey, everything helps, right? <laughs> okay, so, um, this can shoot unlimited, but I did run into the oh, an overheating problem with this. Yep, yep, yep. I did shoot out of the box shooting, the everything on automatic, which is a no no. You have this thing has to be configured. Some of them on here, uh, do that does have the camera. In. Some of them have some good configuration. But we all know the best settings here would be fine for the picture. So if you're going to shoot your camera, there's a lot of settings. There's RAW. Some people use fine. Well, the best settings to me, I would say RAW for now because the way this camera has to be configured. You have to configure it for your taste and what you want, okay? A lot of you want 4K out the box at the highest setting. And you gotta remember, make sure you get more than one battery for this. <laughs> uh, there's a dummy battery, which is a battery that um, plugs in and plugs into current. Or you don't even have to go that route. You can actually go like this. I'm I'm right now, this is my, um, see that little blue light back there? Uh, see it there? That's my solar right there with the fan on, on top. On top of it, that box over there, that's my solar generator. Uh, I have a solar channel, so I want to get too technical here with the solar, but we have panels behind that. There's two big panels there. So that can handle 480 watts. I built it myself from scratch. There's more information on my solar channel. So the solar channel is just like the check channel. So it says Albert's Voice Tech, there's Albert's Voice Solar. Okay. How do you get there? Uh, I'll provide a link. It's a little tricky to get there, but it's there. <laughs> but I don't want to go off this, the bleed. But I'm I'm using my yeah. I use my generator right now. The sun is full force hitting the, hitting those cells. 
uh, on the way. Yeah, so I'm getting full power, 480 watts. So all those batteries I got in there, they're charging up this. And this charge up pretty quick. Now, this is a thicker cable. I got this from a job. So this is a, a much thicker cable than you get for a typical Type-C. This is a pretty thick itself. But the part type, this is Type-C to Type-C. So, all they call it um, PD. PD, that's like a, say, your laptop. Um, or, you know, well, say your laptop or you, maybe your little mini computer can support Type-C charging. So, this cable here comes in hand. You see, how th it's very thick. Very thick compared to the ones you get off um, Amazon. This is not too bad, too. This is pretty thick, too. There's a thinner one. To be honest with you, you want the thickest you can get. I mean, you got to rem remember with the thickness now. It's a different. This does come with the cable, the cable out of the box. Uh, it's type um, type C and type 3. Right? So um, type C is the, the, the smaller end, right? And um, type C, and then type 3 is the blue, you know, blue. It's a USB three, <laughs> so yeah. But the whole thing is that is that it's a small cable. It's about that. It's not that long. So they just figure you can plug it in and charge. It doesn't come with any charging brick or anything. You have to provide your own. But since I have this built here, this has twelve, two sockets. It has over six um, quick charge ports and two type C. Well, at the time. I think, actually, I think I take it back. I do have more than two Type C. I do. This is an extender. Now, this this one here, there is a, uh, what do you call that again? I can't think of the name because it's a different terminology. It's going to be, um, they call it banana clips or it's going to be positive and negative. The same stuff that you see if you're in a car, you're going to jump start a car. Yeah, I have that. Jumper cables are connected to that. Well, a smaller type. I rigged that up myself. So I know this looks cool, but this is good. You can take this. I'm going to build in. This is um, uh, solar generator number two. It's called AB, ABS Gen. So that stands for Albert's Voice Solar Generator. That's the first one. I built another one for the studio. Yeah, I have a studio. But right now, we're not in the studio. This is where I built this. I built I built this in here. I have this since 2021. Set up like this. So this is designed to charge everything I got. Smartphones, laptops, especially the iPad in the back there. That's what you see back there. See the iPad? That too. It can do a laptops, everything. That's what I built it for. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah, you can go buy one. But heck. I had an idea and it worked. So that's how that's built. A lot of wires, but that's how we are. If you're a tech, you can have wires all over the place. But getting back to this, I don't want to get off the subject. That's how that's how this is being charged. When this light goes out, this this light here, you see it? When that light goes out. Make sure this no oh gotta make sure this thing's I'm charging and this thing gets hot too. This the the camera. Uh, the phone. It does overheat. It's starting to get high already. I'm charging at the same time, which is a really not good idea to do. Is charge. So let me unplug this. So yeah, so you you see that this is the uh, type C. Yeah, and the other one's type three. Let me get so complicated. So this one here, this is a little heavy. Heavy duty. You don't have to get this brand, but you know you want to get something heavy duty. These can go bad so quickly. So try not to miss. Misabuse these compared to this kind here. See it? Yeah. Okay, that, that's heavy duty. But you can see the thickness is much different. These can charge fast, but this can charge really, really fast. But you want it to charge properly. Make sure this lights go out, even though the camera will say the battery is fully charged. It looks like a white cell. Make sure it's fully charged. Now, uh, I put the extended this ring here. You have to. It screws on. This doesn't come with the, the lens, so that's why it looks different in the front. So I, I did my research and I got the, the lens. This lens helps with lighting and the sunlight too, if you go out there. Um, they have a sunshade clip. You see a lot of people have these weird, fancy extensions on the camera lenses. Well, yeah, I went out and got it. I got two sets. I got this one. This is for the, uh, what's it, 1650 milliliter. And then I got a 50. 
to 250 milliliter lens for this too because I I want I want some options okay so I must I get that and, it, and then I got the um, extra fa fancy uh, lens shield for the sun so it goes out on top it just screws on and screws off then you have this here this is the, the little clip here to protect the camera remember you got to take care of this this is not a toy. Make sure you don't touch the lens. Make sure you don't touch the lens and you don't touch the um, inside there. When you take this off, put the cup. There's a cap cover. Cover up because you don't want no dust or dirt getting in there in the main lens. You don't. You really don't want to play around with that. This reminds me of back in the days of some color lasers. You got to be careful with the imager. <laughs> Same thing with this too. You know. Remember, guys, in Techland, this is this. This does not. Rely on the CPU rather than an NPU image processing unit. So this is this is how this works. It's a little, it's a little different. Uh, weight wise, yeah, this can't weight it. Weight it here. I have the optional ro Rode um, mic, external mic plugged in, and also I have the small rig of uh, wind muffs, which is this. It's all of this is this the fur. This has a fur as well. I'm not outside. I'm in, in indoors. Okay, I'm not. This is this vehicle, this camera is not gonna be shooting outside. This is just it's for the studio, right now. I'm not, well, I'm, I I will get an, another. I'm gonna say I'm gonna get another camera. I'm gonna say which brand. I like to get a brand that knows what they're doing and sticks with cameras i'm not saying the others don't do it but if you're a camera company and all you have done is cameras wouldn't you think they would know more about cameras so that's why i went with nikon over sony now don't get me wrong, i like sony tvs sony so i have a sony point and shoot camera it really barely used it's like brand new if you saw it you know but sony's good for the television set sony's good for other things um, uh, a and V, um, you know, audio and video. Some, some of you are gonna say, "Well, I like the Sony um, camera better," you know, for 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 shooting. You know, I might like the Canon better. Canon, it's another company too. Canon, Canon's been a long time. For um, Canon makes good imagers, printers, all sorts of things, laser printers and digital printers and uh, plotters and all that stuff. They. They're good. Then they they make come decent cameras, but they're expensive. You know, this was a good deal, but you know that's a good, but still even though it's a good deal, you know, because they're running a sale in the summer here. I'm not promoting this company. I'm just telling you what they do. <laughs> okay, but I I know I know of them. So now the um, it's a Japanese company, right? But the, the, the these are now being made in Taiwan. The cell battery that comes with this is made the cells come from china they assemble the unit in taiwan yeah so so that's what they're doing now they're not making them in japan anymore they're making it in taiwan so but you know i don't see them wrong now to get firmware updates you use the snap um bridge app let's see something this is getting, this is getting hot so i'm gonna have to i did on pull it oh wow it's gonna get hot it's like, I don't know. Feels like it's getting like 80 degrees and already it's starting to get hot. But anyway, there's a firmware update for this. If you just bought one of these, there's a firmware update for it. So use the SnapBridge, um, so SnapBridge software on your cell phone and let it update, pull, it'll dry, you know, it'll pull the firmware down and then install. But this battery has to be at more than 80%. Otherwise, don't 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 take a chance. So this got this got to be charged, fully charged. So that's what's happening. It won't take that long to charge. Okay. So so and if you want to move your pictures off and all like that, you can set up. Okay. Another thing before I go, this is starting to get hot. Oh, this is really getting hot. I'm gonna lose the picture. <laughs> I'm gonna lose the picture. Um, there's different settings on here. So let me show you. I can show you. Um, I saved everything to you one. The first one, the green, says auto with the camera picture. See it? You see it? Uh, yeah, 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 you see it now. That one is, that's how it comes out of the, out of the box by default. But U1 is what I'm programming all my settings under for now. And you have U2, U3. So 
it, once you get a hang of it, you know, it comes in handy. This whole panel here comes, this three inch screen is very, very tiny. I was surprised, but that's it. This is the optional um, boon mic plugged into it. Now, did they have a cage, a small rig, has a small ridge, this is yeah, our rig, sorry, small rig, has a cage for this. So you put the, it, it, it's just a, a aluminum shaft, uh, aluminum alloy case, and you, it'll, it snap that extruding, so it's going to go like that. And then you can mount different items, like boom mic, lighting on here, because this little thing here, because I'm using one slot, and if you want to put lighting on here, you, you can. Now, for your studio, I'm using a different setup, so I'm still updating my studio, because I'm trying to get out of what I've been using all this time. And I want better pictures and, you know, like that. So I'm working on that. And that's why I got this to upgrade. Now, I was going to get a video camera from Canon. Like the VX, I think it's called VX605. That's, what's that? That thing that's over two grand. That's a lot of money. I, you know, this is, this here, you know, is on sale. This is expensive too, because you have to go get the lens. I found the lens dirt cheap on the um, Nikon site, but they were having problems with the uh, the pricing. It went from two forty nine to three forty nine. When you rent a page cheaper, so that's the that's the fifty two uh, two hundred fifty milliliter lens. But this comes out of the out of the kit, so uh, this is like like almost around eight hundred dollars. So you get the camera, you get the lane, you get the sixteen to two fifty milliliter lens, you get this. Oh, yeah, and you get the remote control. How am I working out with this? Well, I like to use the remote to record, press record without having to go back. That's the problem I had with this, with the settings, the way it's set out of the box. You would think they would have it, hey, they should have a mode for using this and using this, so you wouldn't have to sit there. Now you have to sit there and figure it out. <laughs> but I did get it to work a little bit. That's why I'm in this situation. Uh, I haven't really used it to record anything, really. I, I did some recordings, and they were really, ooh, ooh cruel. <laughs> they were really cruel. Uh, I'll get it. I'll get it smoothed out. It takes time. This thing is getting hot. This is really getting hot. It's not even being charged. That's the problem with lithium batteries. They, you know, yeah, you got to be careful. Oh, by the way, um, to put one of these, you got to be careful. You got to know what you're doing. And try to stick with batteries that have their own um, BMI in it, um, battery memory and system. It's very important to have that. Don't get, don't put, don't build anything without that. Or you can, uh, well, I, my channel, I, I tell more about that. Because this is not a solo channel. It's, but that's why I split it up. This is more tech and gear like this. So we're going to have more conversations about this. But I just wanted to make this a point. If I repeat myself, uh, it's sometimes better to repeat myself than, than, than get mixed up. Um, and I'll talk more about this camera and how to function and everything. Um, in this camera, you're going to be using the menu button a lot, lot, a lot here. And to put this in video mode, you have to switch it from back here. You know, you would think at some cameras it'd be up here on the dial there, but it's not. And how do you stop it from recording? Out of the box, you have to really have to configure this. You gotta configure this. You can configure the buttons inside the menu system here. Maybe just here. Turn it off. I'm not putting anything on right now because I want this light to go off so I can go back and fix it. Now you can't shoot shoot with this. You have a longer cable like this plugged into that generator out there, and you could do it. Or you can buy a dummy, a dummy battery with go into the battery slot. <coughs> All right. So like I was saying. So, like I said, out of the box, you have to make sure that this is set up correctly. That's one thing. The manual that comes with this is very weak, um, but you can download the full manual from them if you want to read. Some people don't want to read. They want to get into it. This is the tripod um, adapter I put on there. Now, if you get the cage, then you could mount this lighting and everything else that you could get for this. There's also a battery uh pack that you would carry it's you know but you you, you gotta understand it's gonna get heavy this can get very already this is heavy out the box 
but um, yeah. Then you can actually see. That's the, the lens at 16. That's 50. Then you can. Let's see. Can't do it with my hand. You can retract the lens. I think it's this. Oh, there we go. See it? It sticks. And the lens is retracted back. So this is how it's going to look. I can unscrew this. So by default, it'll look like this. See? Let's unscrew it. And it's going to look like this. See? And you just snap that in there like that. And that's the way when you get this um, content creator kit, this is how the lens looks. Okay? So now we have this, this the screws right in. This is extra. Uh, I, I I guess it's like ten dollars for I know you guys gee, ten dollars for that ring. Yeah, but it helps. And it the screws in like so. And you need this little clippy thing here to, put, to protect the lens. There you go. And then you you to get out of the let me see something here. You want that's how you want to go. You want to line it up, and that's how it retracts like that. Then you can store it that way. See, so that's how that works. It's still charging. I I had a phone call, so that's why um, the camera had stopped recording. Um, this is a little di different than the Sony's. How uh, when you put the lens in, I'm just letting you know on on the Nikon, it's, it's basically so you just line up the, the white. Um, um, well, it's a little white thing there. Okay, I'm gonna say dot for now. Okay, it's another word for it, but I can't think of it now. And that's how you line it up, and you twist it, and it locks into place. That's how you know. Right now, you just see. Okay, and that's about it. It's it's not really much to this camera. Okay. There's two straps. You get two straps. One for the creator. I don't think anybody's going to wear that. Though. But it's nice to have. You have stereo heads um, um, left and right on top. I think with the Sony one, the, the ZV um, series, you, you get three. But I don't know how that works. And that's a whole different ball game. They say this is only... Um, they were saying this is 8-bit, 10-bit, or something like that. 8-bit. But inside it says 14-bit. So I don't know. I don't know, some miscommunication there or something like that. But um, you can record. Yeah, twelve. It's twelve. This, 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 there's twelve and fourteen bit recording in there for the image. So I don't know why there's a misconception there. <laughs> anyway, um, that's about it. Um, and the camera compartments here. So this in here is a battery. And uh, when I say camera compartment, this is the battery, and this is the uh, in here. So the battery is gray. It's easy to slide around, and most batteries look like this anyway. So this is their brand battery, and then the memory card goes inside here. See, this is the memory card. I don't know if you can't see. I don't have no way to. I have no extra lighting, um, but this is the memory card here, right, right here. It, it can only go in one way. 
Shouldn't have to go in here. Only to replace batteries. Some people use the dummy batteries. Or the, um, let me see something here. I did it. It's pretty easy to get this in here. Okay, this pushes it in here. This looks like there's a little slot right here for the dummy battery. So you would cut this out. And you and you, that's how you run the wire for the dummy battery. Because how are you going to put a dummy battery with a cord? Yeah, well, there's a little slot to cut out down there. Then to remove these lenses here, you have to press the button here on the side and, and twist it off. Okay. But it, it does come out of the out of the box. It's uh, it's pretty well um, it's well protected. I mean, they use cardboard and a little styrofoam, not that much. It's good quality. It's built, but remember, this company that's what they that's what this company does. This Nikon company does. It makes cameras. It makes cameras, binoculars. You know, that they're not sitting there making cars and other 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 doohickeys, a television set. <laughs> I haven't seen any television set or microwave oven. Some companies do that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well that's why I just like to if, if the company is gonna make camera, they know what they're doing, you know? They know what they're doing. They're making the camera. They're making the camera. They they know how to make cameras. And if if all they've been doing for all these years making is cameras. And you know, that's it. Canon would be the second one to this one. Okay, so I say Nikon, then Canon, then um, at one time Panasonic and Canon was one company, the Mashubishi company, but um, so I, I just learned that Can Canon and pa Panasonic separate, so they have their own stuff, because I could have swear that the Panasonic uh, camcorders and the Canon camcorders look, look, the shell looks the same, so... It's a, it's a little mysterious about that, you know. So, but you know, but again, Nikon and uh, Canon, and the third one, well, I guess it would be, uh, well, I guess it would be Panasonic. But Panasonic, they make other things too. But if they're making cameras for a long time, then yeah, then they know what they're talking about doing. Then the others fall in. Fujitsu is another one too. Fujitsu is making cameras. But Fujitsu is the, the Fujitsu company, the film. But they make other things too. I think at one time Samsung was making cameras too. I don't know if they're still making them. <laughs> but even Casio, the keyboard company, <laughs> they're making cameras. <laughs> so everybody got on the on the camera scene but um this company's been around for a long time people don't recognize them for making the camera but they they know what they're doing so that's why these cameras are pretty good oh this camera's all right just once you program it i'll i make some uh, i'll actually make some productions with this but we're so used to our cell phone you know you just hold it and just does it automatically <laughs> you know well cell phone you can change the settings it depends what kind of cell phone you have so um this button here and this button here can be programmed and on the remote control that comes with this um, function one and function two I know that function one I think this is the, one of these buttons on top here but you want to uh, this is recorded stop volume up or I believe volume up I don't I, mean, I don't know what the feature is I got to look in the manual but see, it simulates. You can get, you can mix the settings on the fly, but you got to look. You still have to look on the screen, though. I'll work with more of this later. But right now, is this to get this thing set up? So it's still charging. We have twelve point one volts of charging on the battery. The batteries are getting charged as we talk. See right there. I don't know if you can see it. You see it. That's from the solar. That's from that box. That's extended leads. This is because I have another one. I have two more on top of there. Yeah. So when you're building something like that, make sure you know what you want it for. I have twelve, two twelve volt sockets, two regular sockets on there, plus a plus a whole bunch. That's how this one's built for. If you want electric, if you want electric. Yeah, AC electric, you have to put an um, inverter for that in there. Uh, I, I, I didn't go that right. I did buy something for that, but I never did buy it. Get it in there, right? Well, the, so that will allow you to hook up other devices that require to be plugged in. But anyway, that's about it. 
if you have any questions, let me know. You know, but this is a work in progress, so do bear with me. Oh my God, why is he talking so much? You know, hey, they, they do what I can. You know, everybody's going to be different. At least I'm giving you a lowdown and breakdown. A lot of people, a lot of these, a lot of people that come on there and they don't say nothing. They expect you to know it, or they forget. You know, they've been doing it so long that they forget how to communicate. You know, I'm not promoting anything. I'm not selling anything. Hey, I just wish you guys uh, and girls and everybody else, you know, subscribe. Okay? You know, it's a lot to put this together. I, I never really pushed subscription before. But that's how this channel will grow. We need, um, I think on this channel, we need a 1,000 subscribers and um, 3,000 watch hours. So, hey, we need you to subscribe. Okay? Support the channel. If you like like the content and you want more, that's what you that's what you do. You subscribe. Okay? That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye. I don't know, should I wave like this or should I wave like this? But see with this camera you can see my hand. And we'll talk about lighting. That's another thing too, you know. Okay, what about lighting? How these cameras work with lighting. But remember, I'm this is not going outside. This is going if I don't go outside I'll, I'll get another one. Or you can use your phone. It's expensive. Some people have two cameras. One camera looking at the object, another one on the side, so you have that different angle. And they, then they use um, like an Adobe, well, not Adobe as well. They would use uh, editing, video editing software, which I'll have to do too. And this one's got to spice two of them together. And yeah. And um, the video editing software allowed them to fix some things. I shoot raw on this. So that means I let things slide. If I it was I was say I was putting something up on the ceiling, like a access point, and I fell off the ladder. Will you see that? No, 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 no. It's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, but like things like that, or maybe I I, I was building a computer and the computer exploded, or some weird thing happened. You know, <laughs> like that. Okay, this is still charging. Once this is go off, I can upload the firmware to it. Because it won't let me upload the firmware. Even though it's plugged in, it won't let me upload the firmware. I don't know what the firmware does. It didn't tell me. All right. All right. Hey, by the way, this roadie has a little um, wind muff, too. I don't have it on this yet. Because it's not going outside the door. Oh, you want to see what kind of... This is the free mic they give you. It's not even battery powered. I thought it was battery powered. Oh. It's wherever it comes out of this thing here. Uh, you know, this camera here, and this comes off like so. Oh, by the way, now you, you can flip the you can flip the lens because this is in the way I've unplugged it. You can't do it without charging. This thing's anno annoying. This is supposed to allow you to flip through the um, the menu screens. I just usually press that, and you have. Zoom in, zoom out. Now, now, these zoom in, zoom out might change the way the autofocus works. I don't know. I don't want to play around that, and I don't want to give you misinformation. This is the, your best friend at the delete button. Delete images. And stuff like that. So on top of here, you have program, uh, automatic, AM, manual. You have manual. You can do things manually. But anyway, we'll talk more about that. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching. Phone is time to get hot again. Hey, subscribe. Support the channel. And you want more videos like this too as well. Okay. Okay. Thank. Okay. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye. Okay. Phone has updated. Okay. It transferred the phone to the phone. I'm uh, sorry. It transferred the phone to the camera. Right now, it's going through the update. It says, warning, do not turn off the camera during the update. Well, the, uh, common sense will tell you. Yeah, so that's what's happening now. Okay, I, I'm able to record this as a screen dump. Okay, so I'll just let, let, it, let it finish doing its thing. And, um, yeah. And that's where, we, that's where we are from now. I can show you the rest. Let me show you the rest. There we go. Okay, I have to record it like this. I'm trying to get for you to see what's happening. It's updating the phone with the firmware. You see it? Okay, it's finished. 
What's it say now? Oh, the camera will turn off. You know what it says? Update completed. Turn off camera. Oh, I got to turn off the camera. 